congratulate me. I've done it. You've done what? As you wished. I have placed the cup. How much for? How much for? Oh, now, let me think. Uh, had a couple of caps. And the postage cost me a tanner. Registration was an extra tuppence. That's... Yes, the whole thing must have cost me exactly five and eight. It only cost you, but how much did you get for it? Nothing. Nothing? Off crimson scent. Well, I'm not greatly surprised, though it's a bit of a blow. I never thought it had a market value, and I told you so in the beginning. Yes, you did. So what have you done with the thing? I've given it to the Queen. What? As a jubilee present. You haven't. Well, I've sent it to her private secretary, Sir Arthur Big, if that will do for you. I thought they might take rather too much stock of me at the GPO if I addressed it to the sovereign herself. Well, that's why the biscuit tin? Yes. I drove over to St. Martin's Le Grand with it and registered the box into the bargain. Do a job properly if you're going to do it at all. But why on earth do such a thing at all? My dear Bonnie, we have been reigned over for 60 years by infinitely the finest monarch the world has ever known. The world is taking the present opportunity of signifying the fact for all it is worth. Every nation is laying the best it has to offer at her royal feet. Every class in the community is bringing her its gifts. Except ours, the criminal class. I have tried to remove one reproach from our fraternity, one blot from our solid discussion. Well, supposing they trace it to us? Well, there's not much to grab hold of in a biscuit box by hunted in farmers line with the day's newspapers. And I wrote nothing that could possibly be traced. I simply printed two or three words upon a virginal postcard. Well, Raffles, I must say you always were a sportsman and you always will be. Funny. The Queen. God bless her. God bless her.